This question comes from Lily on Instagram. She asks, how do you choose the main character's occupations for your books? Movie star, fashion photographer, etc. Um, I don't know that I've actually necessarily chosen. I feel like they, they kind of chose me to tell their story. I really get the inspiration from things around me. So, um, Untouchable Zane obviously was inspired by Zac Efron. So that one just kind of made sense. Um, not that I know anything about being a celebrity or a movie star, but I did research. I did a lot of research on him specifically to try to, you know, have Zane Elkton sound similar to him anyway. And then for Desiree, um, yeah, you know, and I, I think Desiree came to me because, you know, and I try to write things that at least I know a little something about and then kind of increase my knowledge by researching. And so um, I, prior to becoming a romance author, I had my own event um, decorating business, which also had an arm of um, organization and an arm of interior decorating. So that's where kind of her, you know, organization expert came in. And then for someone exactly like me, the main male character was based on Michele Morone, another celebrity. I don't know where, I don't know how, they just, it's just what happened. And so obviously he was a celebrity and then Destiny being a romance author, um, <laughs> that obviously was very, very helpful because I'm a romance author, so I, I could write about that. And then <coughs> actually the character of Gigi uh, was inspired by a photographer, a fashion photographer that I follow on Instagram. And so that's like, I kind of got that inspiration. And then, um, but the actual character who played that role ended up being Candy. So it's really all things that things are people that I am, that I see in my life. And then uh, suddenly I'm like, oh, there's a story there and scenes start to come. And, and then I just kind of start to write. So. And um, right now I am kind of trying to figure out the exact occupations for Angelo and Lucia in Someone to Watch Over Me. So, and that's actually been a little bit of a struggle. So we'll see what ends up happening there for them.